Hi everyone, what is up? Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. So as you guys have seen in the title, we're going to be talking about a highlighter palette that I have discovered at Marshalls. And it is from the brand Glam Glow, and it's their Glow Powder. Now, I have never tried anything from Glam Glow. All I ever know is that they create these really nice facial masks, though I do have a sample and until today I haven't tried it. So this is what the box packaging looks like. You can clearly see what you are going to get. And it also has a hole here so that you can feel the palette. And then I'll show you guys the palette later on. But let me go ahead and read what it says here in the back, okay? An innovation ultra-modern palette of glow powders infused with hyaluronic acid, golden clay, golden gemstones, and teoxide if I have pronounced that incorrectly, I do apologize. Vital Flower Complex, these blendable, buildable powders diffuse light, blur imperfections, smooth, refine, and enhance without drying the skin. It has an instruction over here, it says using a brush, sweet powder over cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow to highlight. And it also has some ingredients in the back and an actual image of what you are going to get. Now, I wanted to give like a kudos to this packaging because the products, especially like the photo, it looks very, very identical on the product that you're going to get. Now, most of the products that I have bought in the past, they do have like an image in the back. And then when you open it, doesn't look like it. <laughs> One of those brands is actually Makeup Revolution. Like I have some palettes from them before and I look at the packaging like, oh my gosh, these are nice, fun shades. And then when I open it, I'm like, doesn't look like it. So anyway, original price of the palette is actually $42. I looked it up on their website just now and I saw that it is on sale for $21, but lucky me, I was able to grab this at Marshalls for only 16 freaking dollars and guess what? Nobody licked it. <laughs> so I opened it up and there's absolutely no swatches, so I'm pretty happy with that. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. It is very rubberized and I feel like if you drop this or travel with this palette, it is definitely not going to break because it is so intact and it's so secure. I, don't, I think that, you know, your powders are going to be safe. Now, considering this is $42 before, I think it is, you know, for the amount that you're going to get because the pans of this one, you guys, it is ginormous it's like you know getting a single highlighter these are all your shades and you also get a mirror right over here and of course they just decided to place this information right over here in the mirror because obviously if you stick that right over here it is just gonna slide off so this is like 15 grams and you can just easily peel this off Ta -da! that was so freaking satisfying there you go. Love the mirror, it gets really, really handy. And it's so rare to for like a highlighter to have like a mirror, if you guys notice, not unless it's n not even in a pan, like Anastasia Beverly Hills doesn't have one any. Um, so I kind of like appreciate that on this. So when I opened this, I immediately um, smelled something really, it's like candy, it smells like candy. That's what I'm gonna leave it at that. So, out of curiosity, I just wanted to try to check and see if this silicone, if you can take it. Actually, yeah, look. Guys, don't take out the mirror or even the palette in the silicone case. It's going to take you like forever to put it back. Or maybe that's just me because my nails are quite long. So anyway, let's go ahead and try this on bare skin. And then after that, I will be right back with my cake face and then we're going to apply it together. Before we go ahead and do the face swatches, I just wanted to give you guys like a close-up and I also would like to swatch them in the back of my hand. So the first one is Pearl Glow and it's not cooperating right now. And then we have Nude Glow. It's a beautiful gold color as it seems to be on my skin. And then we have Sun Glow. So these are all your highlighter shades and then we're going to go ahead and start face swatching pearl glow that's what it looks like obviously this is too 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 light for my skin maybe if i have makeup this would look even better just to give you guys like an idea on what it's going to look like on tan skin and then moving on we're going to go ahead and use nude glow this is the medium shade of highlighter in the palette and of course i 
have you know flipped my brush on the other side which is also a clean side and this is what it looks like it looks really really nice in my opinion and then lastly we have sun glow now sun glow i can barely see it on my face so I think this is something that you can use all over your face. I know MAC has really something similar to... Um, it was like a limited edition. It was around Christmas time. I don't know if you guys could remember. But it's like a face powder. But it looks like a highlighter in the pan. So I think this one, you can use it as well. But like, you know, just very little. I like it too. It just looks like my skin barely actually. All right, guys, now that we are done trying that on to a bare skin, we're going to go ahead and try it on my cakey face right now. So I would like to start with Pearl Glow because that's like the lightest shade in this palette. And then after that, I'm going to flip my brush and use the Nude Glow and apply it on the other cheek. And then after that, we're going to be using the Sun Glow somewhere where I can think of. Okay, so let's start. You know what? Whatever. I think I'm just going to use Pearl Glow on the highest pane of my nose because I know for a fact that this for sure is like you know in my opinion doesn't really look good in my skin it's like it may look like a strip of light see, see what I mean but the actual that actually worked perfectly like hmm I don't mind you guys see that hmm that's not bad so if you see me in person, or if you see this highlighter in person, it actually has a pink shift into it. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and use Nude Glow. I'm going to apply it right over here. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That is so nice, you guys. And then I'm going to flip my brush and I'm going to be using Sun Glow on the other side of my cheek. Focus, my friend. A little more. That is not bad at all. Let me put a little bit here see where my life takes me away. Okay. I'm gonna zoom myself out. Now I'm gonna put Nude Glow right here just to... That's not bad. Uh, okay, like I know the swatches earlier, they look like shit, but guys, I literally like super underestimated this um, highlighter earlier because when I swatched it it looks like there's nothing there like boring but now that I'm using it with makeup I do believe that even without makeup it still looks really good in my opinion like I love nude glow I feel like I would I can even use nude glow or even sun glow all over my face and just make it look like you know like um just like a dewy look I think it it's the type of highlighter that can do that um, effect because you know some highlighters they're like glittery and it's like so chunky but this one gives you that wet look in the beginning and like you know what $42 whatever like nobody's gonna buy that but now I like this I'm I'm uh, I'm surprised Guys, this is really good. I'm telling you. There's something about the formula of this one that I haven't experienced with the other highlighters that I have in my kit. Number one, it is not powdery. And number two, it is not chunky. Number three, I do really believe that it does blur the skin. Now, just to give you guys like a little for those people who are not very much into skincare i pulled up some some information online it's on the internet might as well believe it <laughs> i'm being sarcastic okay so 
this is scientifically proven, okay? It's scientifically backed benefits of, the, of taking hyaluronic acid. So it says here, promotes healthier, more supple skin. It can speed wound healing. I know for a fact that Glam Glow mainly focuses on skincare. Now, my thoughts exactly on this makeup product, I really do think that they nailed this one, okay? Like earlier, I wasn't really impressed to tell you that much. But realistically, I would wear highlighter with makeup. I really do think that if I wear this highlighter without any makeup, it does give you that dewy look. And I'm convinced it's a good product. That's all I'm going to say, okay? I did not expect this today. So I'm glad I did purchase this one. This was actually just a gamble. I ended up purchasing this one because of the packaging. Shh, I know, I know. I ended up purchasing this one because of the packaging but it's a good formula and the ingredients are really really good as well and i love the scent the scent is not like super strong like like it stays it it's not like that so you just smell it for like a little bit and then it's gone it's not irritating my skin whatsoever again like hyaluronic acid it just like you know moisturizes your skin i love it do i think it has a blurring effect absolutely yeah i do and oh my gosh Yes, definitely, in my opinion, if you guys see this at Marshalls, definitely go ahead and grab it. For $16 freaking dollars, or even for $19.99, I would definitely buy this because, look, I know there are like highlighters out there that is just like 5 bucks or this or that, but with the amount that you're getting in this highlighter palette, I think it's a winner, and the ingredients are good as well. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. That's pretty much it for today, guys. I am so happy that I have discovered this product. Didn't expect it today. So that is pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are still not part of the Sassy family, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn your post notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!